Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Insta360 Ace Pro versus the DJI Action 4. Now this video is not about specs and the power of them. I'm just going to show you what I use these action cameras for and the best way that I have found to use them and you guys pick which one you prefer either the Insta360 Ace Pro or the DJI Action 4. Uh, both are great phenomenal cameras but both do very different things at the same time. So let's get into some footage, some comparison footage and then you guys tell me which one that you like the best. And the first clip is just me walking around like vlogging style that you can do with these cameras and you can see i actually prefer the insta360 ace pro footage than i do the dji one the dji looks a little bit too sharp a little bit too digitized uh, where the insta360 ace pro just looks a little bit more smooth a little bit more pleasing to the eye uh, so that's probably for blogging style uh, i actually like the image from the ace pro plus they're both in their widest field of view as well and you just get that little bit of extra of a wide field of view with the ace pro than what you do with the action 4. so here we are at time lapse um look they are both really really good at time lapses uh both at the same settings there's nothing really that i could pick different between uh the ace pro and the dji action 4. uh time lapse wise they both look really amazing the main use for all of my action cameras is that i use them for help me to do reviews on electric skateboards and i thought what's the best way to test them is mount both of them at the same time on one of my boards and just go for a skate around and see which one did the better job as you can see in the footage so far that the ace pro is just giving such a better quality video than the action 4 where the blues are really blue the greens are green where the action 4 its default setting uh it's a little bit pale as for the picture itself i think at the moment the ace pro is doing a better job than the action 4 but the action 4 is still doing a great job so none of this footage has been color graded this is straight out of camera they're both in standard video profile mode um i haven't added vibrance or anything like that straight standard out of the camera the way that you expect it to be one of my favorite things with both of these cameras is that you can do 4k slow-mo um, so let's have a look at the comparison between the ace pro and the dji action 4 in their slow-mo and who does the better slow-mo now as you can tell now both of these are mounted exactly the same and together at the same time now look at the stabilization in the ace pro it is absolutely phenomenal it's not moving around where you can see that the action 4 those little slight movements, you can see them quite bad where the Ace Pro is just holding the stabilization so much better. So clearly Ace Pro is doing a far better job in slow-mo than what the Action 4 is just because of that smoothness and the stabilization that you get in 4K slow-mo mode. Um, you just don't get that stabilization with the DJI Action 4. Now the next section that we're gonna be looking at is just normal on the skateboard running around with the, with the cameras and moving and getting different angles that I love to get. Now the Ace Pro once again is doing a far better job in that field of view because it's given us so much more real estate to play with than what the Action 4 is doing. So you can crop in, you get a, you get a bit more depth and width in your Ace Pro than what you do with the Action 4. And that's, you, you know, if you have a look at this shot right now, you can see the difference, the very big difference between the Ace Pro and the Action 4 on that field of view. Now, once again, with the slow-mo, with this slow-mo of the skateboard, who's doing a better job of the stabilization and the picture quality? You know, you can see so much more detail in the Ace Pro than what you can in the Action 4. Now, the Action 4 is a little bit darker, um, but, you know, the Ace Pro just does so much such a better job especially with the stabilization it's amazing okay now one of the other big things about the insta360 ace pro compared to the action 4 is that you can do free frame mode on the ace pro which locks you in 360 degrees so you can turn this camera any way that you want 
and it's gonna have that 360 degree lock on you and that is in the camera. Uh, the Ace, the Action 4 does not offer that. As you can see from this clip, with me moving around and everything like that, the Action 4 is going upside down and everything like that, but you do get a crop in with the Insta360 Ace Pro, but you can't get 360 degree lock on the Action 4. Now with this slow-mo with the ducks in that that I came up on, up on, the Ace Pro shows you so much more detail than what the Action 4 does in 4K slow-mo. You know, I really do think that the Ace Pro is doing a far better job at 4K slow-mo than what any of these other action cameras are doing. Uh, the Action 4 does an amazing job at it too, but I just think the Ace Pro is just doing that a little bit more. If you think I'm wrong uh, on any of these, please, Tell me in the comments. I love reading everyone's comments and I love answering everyone back and giving advice when I can. So if you've got a question about both of these cameras, please ask them in the comments and I will reply to you for sure. If you want to pick up an Ace Pro or a DJI Action 4, there will be links below. That is an affiliated link and I do get a kickback from it. So thank you very much if you do so. If you have liked this video at all, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Until next time, guys, I'm Colin from O'Colin, out.